Uh-oh. What was that? Tsunami! That's a bit dramatic, Tim. It's no tidal wave, just a bit of sewage gently flowing through the pipes. Sorry, I just wanted to say... Punami! Punami, punami, punami! Tim! You're right. This poo shall pass. <laughs> OK, let's turn our attention back to the race. Dilo is gaining on Lopsy as they both wade through the waves. Yes, the slosh is about ankle deep for Dilo, but almost to the tummy of little Lopsy. The liquid is definitely slowing Lopsy down. Should she change to swimming? Well, there is evidence of bipedal dino swimming, but not specifically Lopsy. Here comes Dilo, running straight past Lopsy to take the lead. And she's heading for another bend in the pipes. Ooh, she took that corner well. But wait, it's getting darker the deeper they go. Can we turn on the thermal camera? There's Lopsy coming around the corner. But where's Dilo? There she is. But she stopped. Hey, Dilo, you're winning. Keep going. There's something in the way. Dilo's ramming it. Is that what the Y-shaped crest on her head is for? I wouldn't think so. But she's as clever as birds and advanced theropods. So a dinosaur that smart wouldn't be headbutting something for no reason. Lopsy's caught up with Dilo, and she's stopping too. Can we get a closer look at whatever it is that's causing the traffic jam? Ew! It's a fat bird. I've heard about these disgusting monstrosities. They're solid masses made from things that shouldn't go down drains like cooking oil, fat, grease, wet wipes, paper towels. A good reminder to never flush anything down the loo other than poo and wee and toilet paper. Ew, is Lopsy nibbling the fat bird? Isn't she a herbivore? Would this even qualify as vegetarian? I mean, there's probably some corn in there somewhere. Again, do not try this at home. Gross. No lobsy stop. For more Titanosaur twists and turns every Thursday, ask your grown-up to download the ABC Kids Listen app, free from your app store. Or look for Kids Listen on the ABC Listen app. Catch you there for more Dino Dino.